hello welcome to my channel thanks for joining me my name is slim and this ain't a game and yes yeah, a game but we ain't playing around this bit and today on the most random part of the internet we're in college town and i'm about to do something so crazy so unheard of so insane by compiling 20 multifamily lots and apartments mega list for the new for rent expansion pack now i know i know you crazy i'm insane all that i get it it's okay but i do suggest a few ways that we can make this a little easier is go ahead and grab you a snack my choice would be popcorn that's my snack of choice second my other suggestion is to grab you a pen and paper or your notes app on your iphone because that's how i take notes third thing i would say is if the lazy demon has not attacked me to the point of no return i will try to place chapters to where each build has its own chapter and it'll make it easy for you to come back and see which exact build you were trying to look at now like i said if the lazy demon has not attacked me to the point of no return that is the only way that will that is going to get done otherwise good luck and godspeed we are going to jump right on in here uh take note that this is me changing the name of all of my worlds uh, if you see something really insane and crazy please just just ignore it okay just ignore it sometimes i do things and i don't know what i'm doing and i just do it first okay uh, the other thing is i have a list uh that is just as good as this list only shorter half of this list so if you like go ahead and check that upper right hand corner and go ahead and check that out either way let's go ahead and get started we're in brightchester and my first build is going to be the student apart comp which is student apartment complex so again this is student apartment complex by emerald stories she has been featured on this channel a few times now she's actually a really great builder and honestly i want more people to subscribe to her channel so i will go ahead and link her stuff down below as well because she's really good and she needs to be recognized for that so these tours are going to be done in build mode because yeah it's just easier and quicker so we can get through this entire list <laughs> all right so basically it's just a apartment build so if you want to make you a little off campus build i say go for it um so I have mine listed as university housing. She, I think, did not. I think hers was just residential. Right here, automatically, you see it has eight stoves. All I am going to do is remove these stoves and just replace it with the counters. See, I'm just going to replace it with the counters like that. And maybe, I believe, I'm not exactly sure, but I do believe you could use the pizza oven and it's not considered oh it's considered outdoor cooking so you can't use that uh i don't i know there was something that i had that oh the waffle maker i think i think it was the waffle maker yeah you can use the waffle maker and that is not um considered whatever it's called i think the to like if you got a toaster from around the sims 4 yeah also a toaster from around the sims 4 these are not considered so you yeah you could just replace those stoves with your little items right there so anyways this of course would be a shared space shared space okay so i would just use this whole this area as a shared space of course shared space shared space and then the whole entire bottom floor is a shared space isn't it like if y'all have been in college this is so college coded so uh dorm room coded they had their little workout room this is the movie room that i even had in my college where they would play movies on a movie night so this whole downstairs is a, is a shared space and i know y'all like it because i like it and if y'all are watching my channel you probably like the same things that i like anyways they have their little laundry room and how many units do we have so we'll have someone has a private unit right here so there's one unit this is two three four five right here 
five units here and i think that's perfect and it's this has actually inspired me to want to play university again so yeah i can't wait i'm gonna be looking forward to it let's go ahead and head to our uh, next build our next build is going to be in straight out of compton aka del so valley and it's going to be this 50 by 40 a lot right here please y'all like i said if you see anything insane any names any crazy please just ignore it ignore it i say uh but let's go ahead and head over to this 50 by 40 annoying ass lot that we all couldn't stand at first so this is gonna be builds two through four on this particular lot which i had always had a really big problem with this lot because it's so big and it's just so randomly placed like why is it placed right here a 50 by 40 right and it wasn't and then they had like the little driveway so they maybe they knew what they were you know because i know that they plan out content years ahead so they probably was like we are going to make this lot functional one day which they did so now we have los angeles lane by mayday and let's go ahead and take a look basically all y'all know what we will be doing is having each house set as a unit that's all that's all it is here so now we have uh, three different units this one is basically furnished for the most part you don't really got to do too much work if you're kind of keeping the straight out of compton vibe of course uh and they're already furnished so this is of course going to be the first build on this lot the second build on this lot is going to be called los angeles house 2 by chup cut rigs a nine same thing applies here where each house is going to be considered its own unit this is if you want to go for a little more of an up more upscale type of look in this neighborhood it fits very well regardless so it fits good if you want to do the other or this idea um these ones are completely unfurnished i usually don't mind um unfurnished builds i mean some i can't lie sometimes i i i don't want a completely unfurnished build but sometimes i'm in the mood to furnish and build some things up real nicely so you know i don't mind adding my own stuff but regardless uh, this is what you would have to do with this particular lot is furnish it yourself last build on this lot is los angeles house 22 by chupka ribs again and this one basically just has a larger house right it's just a larger one-story house and then a a smaller two-story house on this side these are unfurnished as well again but it's a really good shell and sometimes people just want those move-in ready houses anyways right sometimes you just want a move-in ready house where you could put your own stuff in there so i i like it a lot i think I the sad thing is is there's so many good builds in this list that I'm there it's impossible it's impossible impossible it's not possible for me to play in all of these houses unfortunately but hey I'll try to get around to it maybe if I don't die until I'm 117 I'll be able to play all of these houses next up we are headed to the Big Apple, a.k.a. San Myshuno, and we're going to take a look at these city brownstones. So here we are in the city brownstone apartments by Miss Sim Reno in San Myshuno. Very beautiful build. Fits so perfectly in with the surrounding areas. So let's go ahead and take a look. These are, for the most part, un unfurnished. I believe there is one unit that is furnished. Let's make sure yeah there is uh, this middle unit right here that is un uh that is furnished but everything else is unfurnished so you can kind of do your own thing so of course we have one unit two unit three unit and four units right there and let's go ahead and just show you how many floors there is so this is the second floor i believe um first floor and then there's also a bottom floor that's just kind of well <sighs> my thought process on this is you could turn this into a, a another unit honestly like the owner of this particular build maybe they live in the top 
area and then they rent out their basement to i don't know someone who who know, you know you come out with your own stories but you know that's just uh an idea that you could do um i don't see any places for me to place a shared unit uh, a shared space here but you know for the most part i i love it if it's perfectly in and it is you know all in game stuff so awesome let's go ahead and move on to our next our next build is going to be summit lane apartments by apples on the gallery this is a bonus build because it has cc now i in my last video i did uh make it completely cc free all gallery builds um and that's my preference if i if people are going to show me builds i prefer to only see builds that are cc free <laughs> because you know the less cc you have the better your game runs blah 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 um but the thing is some people wanted a cc version as well and i'm like okay i'm not gonna do a completely uh cc fine build fine video because that's just i have to do stuff that i am comfortable with and i'm just not however i have cc in my game if you watch my channel i i have cc in my game like a lot so my thing is my my tip my suggestion to you is download these builds only using the tray files remove the mods folder so you'll go download the entire build you'll download the folder you open the folder it'll have two folders inside and it'll say cc or it'll say mods and then it'll have a, a folder that says tray I only put the tray folder in my tray files and the cc or mods folder i delete it and then this is usually what i end up with because i already have so much cc in my game a lot of times it will come pretty much complete otherwise it'll be empty and i'll charge that to the game but this if you go look her up on the gallery these pretty much kind of look the same i think i had to replace some of the wallpaper and i know for sure i had to replace these windows over here but for the most part you know it's it's intact it's intact okay so for this build i'm just going to quickly go through it i did raise up the this middle part the platform raise just so i could i mean this was before i even knew about the for rent pack i'm going to leave it like this and i'll just probably have this area be rented out because of the way it looks when you're not in the other unit it this will be easier for me anyways because it seems like when you're not in the other unit if you're watching the early access videos it'll look like this you know it'll look like this but right next to each other so you can still see the walls and the floor and the windows and everything in the other unit um and the floor pattern in the other unit so i would be confused anyways <laughs> to be honest so I'm just going to leave this one the way it is. The middle one is just going to be a platform raise kind of deco type thing. And then this one, I will probably have somebody in it anyways. Uh, and I did have to replace some of the CC in this build, like I said. But it is such a beautiful build. She actually has so many beautiful builds in her, her catalog. So I do suggest go take a look, go take a look. And you know, use your imagination. But yeah, this is our uh, bonus build. Summit Lane Apartments. All right, let's go ahead and head on out. We have found ourselves in Windenburg and we're gonna go ahead and visit our next build. We have a beautiful townhome build called Garden E Townhomes B Game by Shafras. One on the gallery. Very beautiful, already furnished build, I believe. Am I, am, is it already furnished? I'm not sure. Let's check it out. Uh, so, no shared spaces. Once again, these are just townhomes. Uh, and two of them are furnished, so that's pretty cool. So, 
and this is kind of like what I was saying. So, like, if you're playing in this unit, you could see, like, just the floors and the walls in the, in the other unit uh, if you're watching the early access videos. And that's what I've noticed. I hope they take that away because it's just going to confuse the heck out of me. But anyways, two of these are completely furnished. I like completely furnished builds. At the end of the day, they are my favorite because that means I got to do too much. I ain't got to do too much. And sometimes I just take the build itself and I'll be like, okay, who lives here? This one, you got your parents. They have a, maybe a son and a baby infant daughter. And then um, I see a paint, painting easel here. So I know maybe I'm going to say, okay, now I have created a story of a parent who has a genius kid and they make money by painting and they just had a infant and you know just stuff like that <laughs> that's how i make my stories sometimes but anyways i love this build it is gorgeous love the brick fits very nicely in to the world they also have um two on the ends that have sliding and uh yeah i just like it if it's really if it it's really well here to me all right, let's go ahead and move on to our next build. My next build I have is still in Windenburg, and it's one of my favorites of the favorites of the favorites types of build. It is a base game modern five units by Lixie underscore 170 on the gallery. And yeah, again, this is one of the this is one of my favorite types of builds because it is a base game build. So anybody and everybody can have it. This uh, says it has five units, y'all. I don't know how that how how they're counting it, um, because when I kind of checked, it was like, is this you know? I feel like it's more than five units, but let's see. So this uh, maybe is a shared space. Yeah. So I'm feeling like this is a shared space. Maybe this is the leasing office. Yeah. Yep. Shared space right here shared space okay so we got a, a nice big shared space got a place for the little kids to come outside don't you love it i wish i could play in every last one of these builds i really do so with first look i see one unit right here so i see our first unit and everything else over here is shared space is what it's looking like okay so one unit I see two units right here. Yep, three units. Four units. Five units. Okay, so that's why it's five units. Okay, because this is a stairs from the first from the unit downstairs okay i got it so it's five units okie dokie sounds good and we have that all the shared space very beautiful this would be considered to me a luxury type of build you know a luxury apartment complex i would say i love it i love it moving on speaking of luxury we are moving on to new crest with a luxury apartments don't mind the name Chirac. that usually make this my chicago <laughs> but anyways i am going to go ahead and check out the luxury apartment complex that we have down here so we have a luxury apartments by samuel erco2 on the gallery beautiful luxury apartments beautiful great job you guys are unbelievably talented i'm just gonna say it y'all are unbelievably talented i could never i could never look how nice this is like they said luxury oh say less <laughs> look at it okay so of course y'all saw the shared space and guess what we have a furnished apartment complex loving it for me love the balconies all uh I don't know it's I see this driving around like when I'm driving around I see it 
So uh, shared space in the middle, shared space out here, shared space in the front. I want to say that there's a downstairs shared space, but I can't recall, but we're about to check it out. So what we're going to do here is count the units. So from what I can see, this is a one unit at the top. The whole top is a unit. So one unit. Okay, got it. So two units. This one is connected by upstairs. So there's two, three units. This is also connected by upstairs. So three units so far. This is the bottom floor. Uh, shared space. Y'all think? Yep. No? Yes. Shared space. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell. Is this a shared space? How? Yes. This is the door. Shared space. Shared space. Okay. So six units, I would say. Because what was that? Four, five, and six. Six units. And when I say luxury, it's giving luxury. It's giving it. It's giving it is all it's got. I love that. Love that for us. All right. Let's go ahead and head to the next location. Our next apartment complex is a Layla Square Apartments by Apples on the Gallery. This is another bonus Hassy C build for you. And let me show you a little thing. Okay, so I know for sure I'm going to play in this. I, I have made my, uh, I'm going to play in it. I, I, I just, I want to, I love it. I, I'm going to play in it. Let me, let me show you why I, I'm adding this to the list. First of all, like I said, she's just really, 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 really talented. Other thing is I wanted to show you how this works. So when you download her build, she does have the in-game cars here. Um, I always replace them with my own cars that I have in my game. So that's the first thing. So so you know that that's what I do. Other thing is, it does not, it did not come with the floor done because I didn't have the CC. So you see, this is what it looked like. All I did was say, what color do I want my floor to be? And I added floor. So I made it, you know, the floor that I already had, the CC that I already had in my game. I added this floor. I added the floor. Otherwise, the whole entire place looked like this. The other thing I want to show you is I did not have the seats. These are the seats that came with this build because I did not have the CC that she had. So because she didn't, I didn't have her CC, it replaced it with this. So I left that right there so you could see that I added my own chairs. It's that simple. Literally that simple. And we'll just head upstairs and uh, show you the same thing up here, that this is what the floor looked like before I added my own floor. You know, just my own imagination, what it could, or you could just like pit, look up, pictures of how her original build looks and you know you can copy it otherwise you just get your own imagination put the floor in that you like put the chairs in that you like because this is what comes th with it once it removes the cc that it didn't come with now the last thing is this is a whole entire shared space area so this whole building is a shared space love it then you have the actual units. Now, again, I, I must be missing some CC because it's missing a door to get in. That's okay. All I would do is find me a nice little door. There. So now they can get in and they have their units. So this has one unit, two This unit seems to have its own floor. So three, four, five, six, 
five. I think that's it. Yep, five units. I cannot wait to play in this building. I cannot wait to play in this building. It's so nice. So the, they all have their own little balconies as well. So like I said, I'm going to definitely play in this. Like I know I'm saying like I want to play in every single last one of them. But this one I'm I'm going to make sure that I play in. It's just it's pretty. It's gorgeous. It looks good in the area. It's just really pretty. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to our uh, next build. We've made it to Sin City. And we're going to take a look aka OS the Springs, at another luxury apartment build. We're looking at some luxury modern apartments in Oasis Springs. Very pretty to me. It fits in with the world itself. So uh, that's why I placed it here. They have, I believe that's a telescope, aka maybe a death trap. You know, if you want to death trap your sims. Uh, and I just wanted to give you a uh, option to just, you know, take a look. Just take a look around. This to me, I believe, is a shared space. A little different because it's uh, at the top. But they have a um, laundry area, maybe an office manager, the workout room. Maybe this is just a place where, you know, the tenants can come and eat, you know. I, I don't know. Y you know, yeah, I don't know. Use your imagination. I don't know. Um, and then we have some units here i like that so this unit is unfurnished so okay so these are the entryways okay right and then then there's oh okay love that for me us all of us you can get in front and the back okay i love that very nice and there we have it Just a little variety. A little variety. Love that. All right. Let's head to our next build. Speaking of variety, let's go ahead and head into Evergreen Harbor. And let's take a look at these rundown apartments. We are here at some rundown apartments by Tyga3004 on the gallery. And the thing is, why would I not? Why not? Huh? There's no reason. <laughs> There's no reason not to. This is the perfect area for these rundown apartments. Perfect. And I wouldn't even make these apartments. If y'all watched James Turner's video of how he made it like he was running a hotel, well, let's run a motel. This is perfect. I mean, I mean, you can make it apartments but i would make this a motel and maybe have some illegal activities going on in here they did phenomenal in here with the run down look honestly like i said it would be a motel for me may oh you could also play a what's it called uh rags to riches you could play a rags to riches here and your sim could you know maybe if they got some simoleons for a little bit they could come stay here a night or two or whatever and have some shelter for the night you know or you could just tell your own little story of you know a family who lives here and they're trying to get it get it out you know get it out the mud get it out the grit you know um here's a shared space obviously this is a shared space for uh the laundry and like i said you can do what you want but it's this is my favorite build <laughs> this is my favorite right now because i i, I i'm digging the vibes I'm digging the vibes, even the nasty old pool they have right there. You guys have unbelievable talent. Let's go to the next one. The rest of our builds are going to be right here in Willow Creek, a.k.a. Atlanta. That's where they call it in my game. But let's go ahead and dive into our first build. 
The next build is Parkside Place Town Homes by Dream Scar X on the gallery. And uh, like she said, they're just some beautiful town homes that gets you started. I actually love these town homes a lot. Uh, for more than one reason, I'm going to say that it's the build style of the brick that she has here and the flat in the middle and the kind of protrusion on the two end ones. They look like a lot of the ones that I see around my neighborhood um, or that basically that you just can see driving around in Texas. Uh, so these are empty and you do have... Um, four units so we have one unit two three and four unfurnished and ready for you to move in yeah this is giving very much what i see in my area vibe so you have the open living room you have the open kitchen then you go out here and you have the your own isolated backyard these would probably be on the higher price range they have ceiling fans in there each of these seem to have a different type of layout i'm loving it i'm feeling it i'm digging it it is my style i love this one too it kind of has the kind of island right here for the kitchen area you could put you a little uh dining area right here you have your living room so it's not conjoined like these on this side where you just kind of well actually this one is also kind of separated but you can talk to whoever's in the kitchen through there nice got a fireplace this one's the open place one but of course with the little details like the little divider here you kind of separate one from the other very beautiful build very well thought out so we have the upstairs in this one i think this is a three bedroom yep one two three bedrooms one two three bedrooms yeah they're all three bedrooms beautiful very different but well meshed together love it all right let's go ahead and take a look at our next build we have six American Apartments by K Butter C209 on the gallery. These give, like they said, American Apartments. Because I have seen this type of apartment with the, you know, stairs on the outside and, uh, you know, mainly just individual units instead of one big building. I've seen these everywhere I've went in America. So... I know um, for sure Georgia have had this. The, I mean, of course, I don't think I've seen this in like uh, the East Coast or anything, but definitely Southern, um, like Texas and uh, Louisiana, um, Georgia, like I said. I've definitely seen these type of apartments. Uh, they are unfurnished, and like they said, there are six units. So one on each side of the stairs, which would be the stairs are pretty much the only shared spaces that they have. So very huge apartments on the inside, very spacious. If you want to give your uh, Sims uh, some space, I would say these are a good place to move in. I want to play in these apartments as well. And I actually have a Sim who lives here that I am going to play with because I, I just really, really like these apartments, mainly because it reminds me of the apartments that i see you know like a lot of people like realism and they're playing and yeah, that, yeah it, that's what it gives just the realism and things that i'm familiar with um all i think i'm going to do is probably add carpet to the bedroom area um, there's a specific carpet i have in mind yep this one right here the freshly vacuumed carpet by platinum sims uh scotty yodi has um a swatch as well that looks like vacuumed apartment um carpet so yeah that's all i would change honestly um maybe actually change this to wood y'all this is not this type of video look i said if the lazy demon does not attack me i will leave timestamps for you guys 
but yeah probably yeah yep, yep. i think that's that's it that's it that's it that's all i'll change so now um of course i would have to you know make that um a wall so i could do that correctly but i mean yeah i like it i like it like that so we have the wood i would leave this the same and the carpet in the living room there we go yay me all right guys let's go ahead and head to our next build very beautiful build we have here called daisy duplex by Haley and 1016 on the gallery this one is giving lux because of the build style and the brick choice and the door the front door choice uh these would be more expensive to me they have a nice spacious backyard no shared spaces here um on this side a upstairs bedroom for a uh, adult and uh, this looks like a play area on this side for maybe uh, the child sim that they have here um and as soon as you walk in, you have the kitchen area, the bathroom. I, I've seen it. I've seen it. Um, this person has a cat. Like I said, already furnished for you. Got a child sim and the parent sim. I'm going to give single mother, single mother vibes. That's what I'm giving. Single mother has a child sim, a daughter, and a cat. On that side and on this side we got a nice little living room they got the little area to get on the computer yep bathroom on that side they have a pet as well probably a dog boy boy child here parent sim and another sim oh okay so parent sim right here I guess we'll have to come up with some stories on here. So maybe a grandparent suite? Yeah, or just a guest room. Maybe it's just a guest room. I don't know. But yeah, I'm loving it. I'm digging it. Like I said, a million, gazillion, bazillion, bazillion, bajillion times on this video. I wish I could play in every single last one of these. I'm going to try to make a, a family, especially in this household, because I don't know. I, I, it could be a grandparent suite or maybe it could be a guest house i i don't i mean a guest room i don't know but I'm, I'm 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 digging it i'm digging it let's go on to the next build our next build is suburban duplex by tracy school on the gallery and i actually have this in one of my uh, other saves i just wanted to share it with you guys um because this one is actually in my windbrook save and i have already refur refurnished that entire build but this is really beautiful. Like I said, I play with it in, my, like I have an active household that lives in this, but it has been refurnished, but it's already an active household that I have. Uh, I just like it because it has this basement area where I, uh, on one of my um, families, I gave the teenage daughter the whole entire basement um i i like when we make use of our basements it gives us more space um and they have the washer and dryer unit she has her own um, bathroom and stuff down here again this th i i have refurnished one of them for um my family that i have living there but basically it's just a mirror of exactly the same thing on both sides y'all kind of see this person made good use out of their space and their build and their imagination. Upstairs, we have the bedroom, bathroom, two two bedrooms, two and a half baths. Wait, yeah, two and a half baths. And yeah, each side, just like I said, just pa basically just a, a mimicking of each side. And they both have backyards a duplicate yeah like i said i already played with this one so i ain't gotta say i wish i could play with this one uh but yeah i've ar i've already played with this one um and i did recolor some of it but for the most part i love this build a lot so there you have it and you can see we have it next to our apartment that i said i have a sim live in but yep all right 
let's go ahead and take a look at the next bill. Here we have Retirement Home by Vanny B99 on the gallery. I had to throw this in there because I know that the new pack has some elder play. I believe they even have their own aspiration or uh a new trader something along the lines of that and i said well that'd be really cool to have a little retirement kind of village retirement community uh that all of your townies uh that all of your elder townies can move into if they wanted to um so let's just take a quick quick look because we are in the home stretch i think we only have two more builds after this one um, yeah, and they are furnished and it gives me exactly what it should give as um, a retirement community because it's 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 giving elder person <laughs> uh, decor. So um, let's see. What would we say? Share space? Yeah. So basically, I'm going to say for for our purposes this is what we're going to do we're going to have shared space completely downstairs right everything's your space if it has a bedroom and a bathroom that's one unit that's what we're going to say so this is our one unit and i want to say we'll make this a shared space just because um you know just because so there's one unit right there, and I believe we had two units upstairs. And I did place this in, uh, like I said, Willow Creek uh, is where the remaining builds were. But I, I actually, there's one more build that's not in Willow Creek. Uh, but then we have, so it's just a replica of all of the, the buildings. So they're all going to be the same. So this is shared space, unit shared space unit unit and that's in all of them so you you kind of get it, it yeah it's definitely retirement uh retirement retirement community but it's very beautiful i love it of course you have your shared spaces pools on the side you know very nice very very nice and I guess you wouldn't have to make these little areas uh, shared spaces because the one upstairs couldn't be a shared space because it's a part of this unit. So, yeah, maybe not. Maybe just this uh, and what we discussed the downstairs being a shared space. But anyways, let's go ahead and try to finish off this video strong. Let's go to the next Second to last, we have Old Neighborhood Homes by Skywalker21 on the gallery. It is a bonus build because it does have some CC here. Um, it didn't come with much, I can say that. It didn't come, it wasn't a largely put CC build, but there was some CC that was that it came with. And I have this in my lower, lower income neighborhood of Atlanta as y'all can kind of see here um look somebody is selling the doors for parts <laughs> no I'm just playing but I no I'm not um but I do have uh, a sim that lives here um that I play with my main sim actually lives right there but anyways this fits right in with my lower 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 income neighborhood so I decided to uh, include this in this little video just in case y'all wanted to check it out. I mean, this was self-explanatory on how it would work, right? Um, we have four units. So one, two, three, four units here and no shared spaces. But yeah. Just wanted to kind of give you, a, you know, a little extra option if you wanted some more run down type of uh, builds. I, I love how they have um, broken glass. <laughs> I'm not changing a thing. OK, uh, did not have all of the CC that came with this build. So some things were replaced, but it's not too bad. 
and I did add a, a lot of this with uh, the tool mod this over here that right there that kind of spruced up my little neighborhood you know um, just sprucing up my neighborhood making it real nice and polished like <laughs> uh, so anyways I will go ahead and move on to our very last build y'all we made it we made it you're probably on like your third popcorn bag by now so uh then let's go ahead and not waste any more time to get to our last build our uh, last build is going to be located in san sequoia let's head on in all right we are here in san sequoia townhomes by sims with sarah this is our last build and we have made it i couldn't i could not resist adding this to the list <clears throat> I'm going to say because of the painted ladies, this is just so cute. And it goes so well in the area that she put it in. I, I mean, I don't know if this is where she put it, to be honest. But it just goes so well in the area that I put it, okay? And it, it looks really good. And there are one, two, three, four, five units. A large shared space right here. And I'm assuming this unit may have its own backyard, um, but the rest of the units do not. So maybe you can have this be the landlord or whatever. And the landlord stays here. Uh, cannot say enough how this is decorated already, which is such a big help to me. Um, because I like to play my game. I'm not a big builder. I'm not a big uh, cast person. I am a player of The Sims. So I love to play The Sims and come up with my little storylines and all that like that. Um, and it also has its a downstairs that can be rented out as well. Um, uh, so you could rent this area out and then up here could be a shared space so i don't know I, I really like that so yes uh like i said you have your little shared space right here um i mean i i mean i guess you could add a little tv down here otherwise what you could do is also make this room a shared space so you have this whole floor a shared space for them they would just go down here to their unit and i guess since you have to knock on a door this could be the door to the unit and i don't know i think that would work i, I like that idea i want to play in here i mean y'all knew i was gonna say that already i do want to play in the painted ladies right here but yeah that is the last of the builds i hope you enjoyed this video I think this is going to be a really good place to go ahead and end it. And I wanted to thank you all so much for watching and giving me your time. And I really appreciate that because it's your time. And I know you could have been doing anything, anything else in the world besides watching me. But you chose to watch this video. And I hope I used your time wisely. I hope I entertained you. And I hope you found some really Really great builds and multifamily units that you will be using in your game. Hey, if so, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me greatly get noticed and recommended by YouTube. But anyways, thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.